drop arm test. This test is used for rotator cuff tear, specifically for the supraspinatus tendon tear. So the test helps in determining if there is a tear in the supraspinatus tendon. And the test can be done by many techniques. Instruct the patient to fully abduct the arm. Ask the patient to slowly lower the arm to the side. If there is a tear in the rotator cuff, specifically the supraspinatus tendon, the arm will drop to the side from a position of about 90 degree abduction. Even if the patient tries several times, the patient cannot lower the arm smoothly and slowly. But if the patient was able to hold the arm in abduction, then a small amount of pressure on the forearm causes the arm to fall to the side. Another way to do it, the physician instruct the patient to fully abduct the arm. The examiner support the arm to be tested and abducted to 90 degree. The whole idea here is the patient is asked to actively lower the arm from abduction to the side slowly and smoothly in a controlled way. The positive test occurs when the patient is unable to hold the arm in 90 degree of abduction or unable to control lowering of the arm to the side. Practical way of doing it, the examiner will hold the arm fully abducted by the side of the patient and will release it. And if the arm drops, then that means there is a massive cuff tear. The test is positive when pain and weakness cause the arm to drop to the side. Thank you very much. I hope this video was helpful.